but on four. Do you know what that is? That's the microphone that picks up the sound, is that right? Mm-hmm, that's right. David can see you through that, but he's also got a thing. Can you show it? Can you yeah, twist it? Can screen. you see? This was the first time I filmed Pamela Edwards. Is it, does it bother you? I like it. I thought you would. Valerie thought you'd like it. I'm, I'm on the camera. Well, that's nice. you very excited. Pamela has multiple personality disorder. It's an image of you. You are real, and that is you really on a film. It's a real image of you. That's back to front. But you are real. You want to look through? What can you see? I can see Judy. Judy Williams was once Pamela's foster mother. Now she's the most important person in Pamela's world. I've spent two years in Pamela's world, a place where reality can become blurred. Most of the time, she's not herself, lost among her four other personalities. Don't look at me like that! Sandra, it's you. Go back inside. Go away from me! Sandra, go back inside now. Her condition is little understood, but Pamela wasn't born this way. <laughs> is a puzzle, but she will always remain a puzzle if you don't look at her history. You need to be able to bear to look at something that is actually quite grotesque, really. Pamela Edwards, Honey Bunch. Nobody will do anything to hurt you. Nothing will go wrong, nothing will go bad, nothing. Angela in that camera. Hello, Pamela in that camera. Hello, Angela, Car Angela. Angela is one of 20 full and part-time workers in this care project created by Judy five years ago to look after Pamela in her own home. And I'll stay another day. During the course of her life, Pamela's personality has split into five distinct characters. Oh, Angela. Can you see the dolls? Yeah, why have you arranged them like that? Because this is the internal characters, and that's Andrew, that's Margaret, that's Susan, and that's Sandra, and that's Pamela. Andrew, Margaret, Susan and Sandra are as real to Pamela as everybody else is. That's Greece. Right. Which part of Greece is that? Don't put yourself. Do you want to sit over there, please, because you're looking at yourself in reflection. At times, it's not clear who Pamela's talking to or whether it's one of her characters speaking. That's Pamela, and that's Pamela, and that's Pamela, and that's Pamela, and that's Judy. You're cameraing this as I'm looking with my eyes. Mm -hmm. It's Pamela's smile on her face. Pamela's used her personalities to create an internal family who interact with each other. Pamela, could you tell me about the internal characters? The internal characters is myself, Susan and Margaret and Andrew, all four internal characters. And who are you? I was born Sandra when I was when I was with my parents when I was when I was a baby. I've got a son, which is Andrew, because he's a child, because he's a little boy, and he's a brother. So is Andrew Sandra's son? My son is called Andrew. And you're Sandra? Yeah. Right. 
Andrew doesn't seem to talk very much. I think he's shy. Is that why? Probably. And what about Susan? I don't know. She's okay. She doesn't seem to talk that much, but she sounds... I know. I, I talk that... Of course I talk that much. Of course I do. <laughs> I'm Susan Edwards, Sandra's sister. Okay. All right. I know it's difficult. Right. I, I know it must be hard for you. So is Susan Sandra's sister? Yeah. And Andrew is Sandra's son? Yeah. And my mummy. Right. Kisses for you, Mr. Edwards. Eh? Hey. Eh? Hey. Mr. Edwards? Mr. Edwards, Mr. Edwards. Pamela's learning disabled, okay. so even when she's herself, life can be a challenge. David McDowell, shall I give you a message? Go ahead. Would you like Judy to come? Would you, would Judy like to come? To, would you like, would Judy, don't mind, come to Judy's house? No, so that doesn't make sense. I can't so say it. it. It's hard you to can remember. Ask a question. Would you like to go to Judy's house? Yes, I would, thank you. But I won't stay for very long, and neither you will. No, I'll come back with you. I will phone At times, Judy's tried to look after Pamela on her own, but it's always proved too much. Now their relationship is framed by the care team. They met when Judy was working as an occupational therapist in a psychiatric hospital. Pamela was just 10. She was very small for her age. She was very pretty. In a sense, she was very appealing. She seemed to be extremely anxious. She seemed... Um, to, to be uh, driven by um, very primitive, very kind of early childhood needs. She was preoccupied with food and drink. And she seemed to regress into kind of wanting to have a relationship that was kind of very um, mother-child-like, baby-like, really. Da, 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 da. Yes, I hope you can do it. La, 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 la. What time are you going home? When Judy's not around, it's left to the care team to keep Pamela together. Yes, she did. You're still safe and you're not left out. Although Judy's not here, you still got some team to team here. The characters they meet most are Andrew, who contains a lot of Pamela's anxiety, and Sandra, the most dominant, who tries to manage things. Where's Pamela? I'm here. Pamela? Yes. Pamela? If they're looking after him, why is Andrew still feeling lonely? Maybe Sandra could go and look after him. Andrew? What? Do you know what? Do you, I, I think you're really lonely, like Pamela is. I understand that. Would you like me to look after you? Because I think you're feeling left out, Andrew. Come here. Give you a big hug. Come on, sorry, I shouldn't speak to you like that, should I? I'm sorry, I shouldn't spoke to you like that. That was incredibly bossy for me, for Sandra. And everyone takes a rest now, Pamela. Mm -hmm. I accept your apology. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right, what else do we need? Caring for Pamela like this is expensive. It costs St Helens Social Services and the local health trust almost £500,000 a year, at least twice the cost of keeping her in an institution. Crumpets ETS. Yet this is far from a normal life. In this unique care project, Pamela spends every moment in the company of two or three carers, helping her negotiate her way in the real world. We're just going to 
get this? Do we get this? Which one do you want? Toilet roll for the bathroom. One more thing and then we're finished and then we're done. At times of stress, Pamela's internal people can become dangerously dominant. Pamela's anxious about Elaine leaving. I am anxious about Elaine leaving. Susan's anxious about Elaine leaving. Andrew's anxious about Elaine leaving. Margaret's anxious about Elaine leaving. Eleni Stavrou met Pamela on holiday in Greece. They became so close that she came to join the care team, but now she's going back home. I was very, very frightened. Because Eleni's leaving. Do you want me to take you to the airport yes, tonight? Please. OK. When you have gone, I will picture you smiling like that now mm -hmm. because it shows that I've not forgotten about you because it shows that I'm thinking of you. I will think, I will be thinking of you as well. I'll be thinking of you first. All right then. By the time they get to the airport, Pamela's internal characters have started to argue. Jolly well, you will get on a plane. Don't do that. The flights are booked. Six. Pamela, what? You know the flights are booked. You know about flights are booked. The flights are booked. They're not cancelled. The flights are booked. They're not cancelled. Did Judy cancel the flights? No. So the flights are booked. You are a normal human body, Pamela Evans, the person. She can think for herself. You your own brain. The flights are booked. And no, they're not cancelled. No, they're not cancelled. Pamela, all the internal characters need to stop now because this is not a safe way in a public yes. place in an airport. And Just try to hang on. Can you manage to find that? OK. 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 Bye-bye. Go on with your life. All right. OK. Bye. Mm. Lenny's gone oh. down to Greece now, and you've never lost her. And you can keep your picture in your head. Goodbyes are difficult for Pamela. Fear of losing those closest to her can be traced back to her earliest childhood experiences. 